Good morning, FHS. I'm Ian. And I'm Ben with your Friday morning news. Attention students, next Tuesday, October 24th, there will be a yearbook flash sale. On that day, you can buy your plain yearbook for $50, cash or checks made out to Fowlerville Community Schools. Buy them before or after school in Mrs. Hardenbrook's room, D214, or at lunch, forms will be available. The production of I Want My Mummy runs October 27th and 28th and includes dinner. A comedy show and a Monster Mash dance party following the show, all for just $20. Come in costume and enter the contest. All proceeds go to the Theater Arts and Tech Club scholarships. Anyone interested in attending should contact Mrs. Dombrowski at dianadombrowski at yahoo.com or talk to a theater tech person for more information. Sounds like a fun Halloween performance. Check it out. Ever wonder what the tech club people do? We sent out Hannah, Hannah, and May to give you more information. Ever wonder about tech club? Here's everything you need to know. What is tech club? Uh, tech club is the theater, uh, technical theater club. And what we do is we run every bit of the uh, behind the scenes work here in the Alverson Center for every play, every concert, every big meeting, anything that happens in here, we are behind it making sure that it's set up. When does Tech Club usually meet? 2.30 and we end normally around 4.30. What would you tell the students at FHS to encourage them to join Tech Club? Normally get to meet and it's even though it's a working club, it's a lot of fun too and it's something you can have a promising future in if maybe you want to do something with stage but you're too scared to actually be on stage. What are the different departments of Tech Club? We have several. Uh, first is house manager and that falls usually under uh, one of our student managers as well and it is managing everything in the audience area and out in the front of the house in the lobby the the box office concession this video is brought to you by <laughs> may harvey yeah. hannah kubiak and hannah brock If you have any questions about Tech Club, make sure to see Miss Sarge. Glad TV Cribs is back at the Collins' house. Let's see if anything has changed since Connor left. Open up the champagne, pop. It's my house, come on, turn it up. Uh. Hear a knock on the door when the night begins. Hey GTV, welcome to my crib. Alrighty, if you walk this way, this is the kind of main area that we hang out in. Over here is the living room. Uh, right here, this spot, this is a really important spot because this is where I put my clothes when I get home from school. And I'm not supposed to put my clothes there, so my mom always has to tell me to bring them upstairs. But I like putting my clothes right there. Over here, uh, in the mornings, the sun is coming through this way, and I don't like to be in the sun, so I sit on my laptop here. But in the afternoon, the sun's coming in this way, so I sit on my laptop over here to avoid the sun. So I spend a lot of time on this couch here. Alright, uh, this is the kitchen. Um, over here, this is really important because this is my protein powder. Um, this is really good stuff. I use this blender here to make uh, my protein shakes. So this is kind of probably the most important area of the kitchen for me. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm almost out of protein powder. But that's alright, because I have another full one in here. So I'm good to go. Uh, also, over here, we have a specific water drinking spout. And this is probably the best water in the world. I love this water even more than, like, bottled water or whatever. So, yeah, that's about it for the kitchen, I guess. Okay, um, down here you can see we have a cat door that leads downstairs and the cat door is for our cats to go through. So let me demonstrate. The cat simply walks up and goes through the cat door downstairs and so that's how it works. Oh, there he is coming back out. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, the first cat I showed you was Cracker and uh, this cat here, this is Keiko. He's a big fella. He's a, he sometimes, he can barely make it through that cat door I showed earlier, so he's a lot bigger than Cracker, but he's really nice. 
So that's not that's all good, I guess. All right, over here we have the den, and uh, this is where my dad spends basically all of his time. Uh, he usually sits there and does stuff on the computer while he watches TV, or he like sits here and like sleeps and stuff. So yeah, we don't see much of him because he's normally in here. Uh, that's about it. All right, the next room we have is a pretty personal space. It's my room. Let me show you. Using right now is my pillowcase. I washed my pillowcase and I forgot to put it back on, so I'm using a T-shirt <laughs> as my pillowcase right now, and it works pretty well. So I don't. And there's the owner here too for some reason. So I don't know. That's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Over here, this is Mr. Jonas's house. Now he's really annoying because number one, his lawn doesn't have any grass, so it looks terrible. And he's always watching Ohio State and stuff over there, so yeah, we don't like our neighbor too much. Um, all right, uh, this is my uh, basketball court. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you play basketball on it. Just overhead, we got some Collins wildlife. Those are cranes over there. We don't like cranes. Let me show you what we do when we have cranes by our house. Thanks, GTV. This is my crib. Now get out of my house. Thanks to the Collins family for taking us in your home. Halloween is less than two weeks away. We wanted to see what's your favorite scary movies. JC, Maddie, Devin, and Courtney give you some ideas on what scary movies to watch this Halloween season. I run the halls of FHS to find out your favorite Halloween movie. I'm here with Bryant and Jordan, and we're asking them what their favorite Halloween movies are. Um, I think my favorite Halloween movie is uh, Nightmare Before Halloween. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Scooby-Doo. The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm here with Courtney Rife, and we're going to find out what her favorite Halloween movie is. I would have to say my favorite Halloween movie is It. Good. Ready? Yep. The original Halloween movie with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. And you? The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Solid. <laughs> so what's your favorite Halloween movie? Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2. Solid. Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Halloween Town. Friday the 13th. I'm with Miss Mangan, Mrs. Ording, Ella, and Gabby, and we're going to tell you about our favorite Halloween movies. Okay, I'm a wimp, and I hate scary movies, so i got to go with Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. <laughs> I like it just to be a good amount of scary, so I like um, The Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> I don't really watch a lot of Halloween movies, but I really like scary movies, and my favorite scary movie is Silence of the Lambs. I'm with Ella on this one, so I'm going to say The Blair Witch Project. Well, there you have it, folks. The Night Before Christmas is the favorite Halloween movie of FHS. Hello, Gladiators. As you can see, we're here at the football field leading up to Friday night's game versus the Corona Cavaliers. As we all know, this game is going to be the last home game for our, the, our Gladiators this season, which means senior night. Earlier in the week, I had a chance to talk to Coach Fletcher about what his seniors have meant to him this year. I'm here with Coach Fletcher. Coach Fletcher, what have the seniors meant to you this year? Uh, they've meant a lot. They've put in a lot of work over the past four years, and uh, they've done a great job this year. Regardless of our record, we're really proud of them and um, excited to finish strong on Friday. Sounds good, Coach Fletcher. Good luck this Friday. Nothing will feel better for our seniors than to end on a high note with a win on their last game in this field. 
Earlier in the week, I had a chance to talk to some of the key players that might make that happen this week. I'm here with starting quarterback Jeff Nags. Jeff, how have you prepared for Corona this week? Uh, well, we've watched a lot of film, and the Codex gave us good looks on both defense and offense, so we're prepared the best we can for what they're going to run. So pretty good, I would say. All right, sounds good, Jeff. Good luck. I'm here with corner Josh Stieselon. How do you think that practice has gone this week? I thought it went very good, very enthusiastic, and uh, very pumped up to beat Corona this week. Thank you. Good luck. I'm here with starting lineman Mitchell Bishop. Mitchell, how are you feeling about the Corona game this week? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, they run a veer offense, and if you remember last year, we shut that down pretty hard. Uh, their defense is going to be good, but I think our offense is better. Sounds good, Bishop. Good luck. I'm here with starting running back Alex Brown. How do you plan on exploiting Corona's defense? Uh, I plan on reading the linemen's blocks, uh, hopefully the receiver's block, and uh, just take it down the field. Some key players for Corona this Friday is their quarterback. He's a dual threat quarterback, and his go-to receiver is number one. The Cavaliers this season are 4-4 four and four with a run-first type of offense, and they run a 3-3 stack kind of defense. This week, the Gladiators suffered a tough loss at Tecumseh. The final score of the game was not reflective of how competitive the game was throughout all four quarters. This week, the Gladiators will look to avenge that loss and win, beat the Cavaliers in the last game of the season, who they defeated in last year's contest. Nothing would feel better for these Gladiators than to end the season with a win on their home field. We'll be looking for a huge student section this last game because this is going to be our last game for the Gladiators this year. We really enjoyed watching them all year, and we can't wait to watch next year's team as well. That's all for today's show. Come out tonight for the last football game of the season. The Varsity Boys take on Corona tonight at home. Make sure to check out our live coverage of the game on the NFHS network. Have a great weekend, FHS. I'm Ian. And I'm Ben, signing off.